Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Bannalore Let's Play. So, we're trying to finish our Nerissi's Folly quest. We require seven more nobles, and you can see we have an army of added prisoners, different bandits, and so forth. And we're just going to fly through these nobles, because they are all over the place. We first go to the Empire, and we find Pinton here, who can tell us a little more about this Battle of Pendrick from his perspective. And obviously he represents the Empire, so he's going to be telling the story of how the Validians betrayed him. Uh, he is, in particular, I believe the commander of the Cataphracts. Yes, complaining about the start of the war and how the Validians betrayed them. He's the commander of the Cataphracts. They crushed the enemy crossbowmen. But then they got attacked by the enemy knights and then swarmed by infantry. So he eventually escaped and Arinsiko becomes the Empire. And he's a little, you know, complaining about that in a sense. And then we fast forward to the Empress, who obviously is the wife of the new Emperor after the war. And she can tell us a little bit more about this battle as well. Right, husband, Rinsiko. He's the emperor's, or the former emperor's most trusted commander. Salvaged something from the disaster. And since they were the only organized imperial force to survive the attack, that's why he eventually got voted to become emperor. Good to know, right? We just need to collect these nobles' opinions from different sides of the battle. And we have to travel around. Our forces are growing as we go forth because we got to fight. We got to do missions. We got to feed our men. It costs a lot to, you know, adventure around with this sizable force. And now we can talk to Batanian forces. So they have this new king because their former high king disappeared right before this conflict. And their new king, Kaladog, is the one who rallied them into this war. And they fought. Uh, they're the ones who are known to be good archers in the game. And they had this archery ambush that worked quite well. And he obviously fought really, really well at the battle. He's bragging about it. Good for them. Yeah, so we're just here traveling the land, trying to collect different sides of the stories. And that's going to take us places all over the map. That's why we're fast forwarding through this, because it took hours to find them all. Did not catch our name. They are the Validians. They're the one who betrayed the Empire at the battle. He was the one with the crossbowmen who got slaughtered by those cataphracts we mentioned earlier. And then the knights came. So you're getting, you know, opposing side of the same battle. And it makes sense. I think there's one more Validian that we have to talk to here. Baron Ingather. Now he's going to complain a bit more. He doesn't believe in integrity and all that good stuff. And he felt like they should have done more than betray. He's also going to trash talk the Syrians a little bit. Needless to say, not a huge fan of him. Right, so he's basically complaining about how he feels like their current leader feels guilt for the betrayal when he doesn't feel that way. And then we head back north looking for the last few. There's two more. This is uh, this is an interesting one because he's at a castle in the middle of the night. So we have to meet him at the gate and just have a little chat about it. And they're talking about how it's their great victory. Oh, their former, this is Batanians again, right? Former hiking disappears. Kaladoc takes over. 
starts the war. Sturgeon fight the main body, where they didn't fight their famous cavalry. And they feel like he didn't get the glory. And it didn't get them anything at the end. Well, that's too bad. And that's going to lead us to our final noble, which we find out here. Um, also, I think a Validian member, yep. And we're going to talk to them. After this, we're not going to jump ahead anymore. We're going to take account of how much force we have and try to make our way back to the deserts because I want to join one of the lords. That's kind of our goal here. Um, and also continue the story mission if something new pops up. But yeah, it took us quite a journey to kind of find all of them. They're mostly in this region. Um, I did not know that or did not remember it. So we kind of uh, started on the the far eastern side uh, for no reason. But we did get a nice force out of it, even though I'm like flirting with bankruptcy every few days because the wage is just too high. Anyhow, let's go find them. We mean no harm, even though we have a slightly bigger army. I can't catch them. I can't catch them. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, why are we slow? Do I have too many horses? We became quite the horse trader. Oh yeah, we have too many horses. Um, tough luck. I'm trying to find a place to sell them. I'm sure they'll stop somewhere and we can find them there. Oh, they're coming back. Please just talk to me. There we go. There we go. There we go. We mean no harm. No. Yeah, it was, it's going to take us a little bit. Traveling to Tel Aviv. Okay, so... They're going there. We'll find them. We'll, we'll be slow, but we'll get to them. We're very slow uh, because of the horses. And also, we don't travel well in forest. Desert is kind of our main playground. And because I'm doing horse trading, um, therefore... Where is he going? He switched destinations. No, don't go somewhere too far. All right, we're not, we're not going to let them out of our sights. Oh, he's turning around. He's joining the army, maybe. Oh, we got them on the bridge. Perfect. Hello, King Durthurt. All right, let's say hi. He's the king of the Valenians. Let's see. Anything about this battle? It's a victory of the kind that is almost as bad as defeat. We had given oath to the Empire to join them. If attack, it seemed clear to me that we should have honored our oath that the Batanians and Sturgeons were aggressors, but there is always room to argue details. Ultimately, our barons did not wish to fight with the Empire, so they resisted coming to its help. So he's the lackey king that one of the barons complained about. Nerdsy. When he heard we were hesitating, sent us a message calling us cowards and traitors, and you say that to a Validian noble at your pearl, uh, peril. Uh, Nerdsy should have known what he was doing. We joined the Styrians. I did not fight in the battle. I stood on a hill telling my commanders where to go and who to attack. And we did rather well, I think you have heard. Still, we took losses, heavy losses, and gained little. And for this, the barons blame me, even though it was their idea to fight. I learned that day a king should always lead, never follow. But it was a bitter lesson. If you want more information, there's two people you might try to speak to. Estania worked for worked as sort of an unofficial spymaster for Nursi. She lived near Epirati. Then there is... Arzagos, who was his bodyguard. He's supposed to be near Marinath, though I heard he changed quite a bit since then. So we got our update for the quest. There's two more people we should meet. Okay, is this anywhere close? It's being tracked. Good. What about... It's also being tracked. Okay, so let's take a look at how far or close? There's one. So Marinath is actually pretty close to us. I'm still trying to sell the horse. Let's just pop by one of these villages. I don't think horses go for a decent price here. We get them below 50. They slow us down quite a bit because we don't have enough men to man the horses. It's sort of like a one-to-one -one ratio. Uh, it's higher than 50, but uh, it's, we could sell it for close to 100, pretty much. So I'm going to... Tolerate the slow speed? Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to just sell some of it. And you can see the speed just bumps up way into a much more tolerable state. 
We can probably man closer to 100 horse. Okay, it's still not not very well. We can't chase down anyone at this point. Let's let's try to sell a few more. It's hard making money in this game. Ah, oh, 37. We can't really sell it here. That's a bit unfortunate. The, the butter's decently cheap. The grain's really pricey, actually. Hold on. Uh, they don't take grain for cheap. Yeah, 3.7's okay. We should be around, like, 4.7. Given that we have some infantry now in our formation. Alright. Let's uh, do three times speed. Wait, why is it not letting me fast forward? Yeah, that's weird. I was hitting the three button, it didn't really work. Yeah, that, that's really weird. Huh. Tools, that's not an easy one. 11 grapes, it's not terrible. I was hoping to get more than 20 for these. But we do need money. We're kind of desperate. Because we are paying close to 800 per day. So I'm going to offload some of this. It's also going to allow us to sell some of our horses later. Yeah, we need to join a faction so we can start attacking other factions and do war. But first we're going to continue with our main quest line. Yeah, we can't catch any of these looters with our current speed. We're close, but not there yet. We gotta go north a little bit. Let's stop by there, see if we can pick up some cheap clay. Yeah, it's the, the, the hotkey's not working. Hmm. That's not cheap, but that's better. Um, let's dump off some horses. That's the best way to increase our speed. 3.9 now. There we go. Yeah, we'll accept that. Take two. Uh, it's not cheap. Let's do that. Uh, sell one. Back. Alright. We're gonna talk to... I believe the bodyguard's here? Yes. As it goes. I Sorry, I don't think I know you. Well, yeah, you do know me now. Old life as the Imperial Lapdog is over. I have a piece of the Dragon Banner of Calridios. Is that true? Well, that's interesting. You may have one piece of the banner, but it's of little use in itself. You have to find the other parts. But once you can bring together pieces, you'll have something of tremendous value. How so? The Banner of Calridios is part of a legend. It was said to be carried by Calridios the Great, who first led his people to this land to conquer and despoil. The legend says that no army led by a true son of Caridios shall be defeated in battle. Convenient legend, eh? Of course, the Caridians have been defeated many times, but I guess those weren't true sons. Still, you could say it represents the strength and endurance of this empire. Buyer? Oh? I need to know more about each other. Oh, so you need to know us. But well, he's not an Imperial. I am what they call a Palaic. Palaic is a language that is no longer spoken except for a few old people. Even the word Palaic is imperial. We are people who have forgotten who we are. The Empire has a genius for destruction. The destruction of languages, traditions, gods. It takes our fortresses, slaughter our men, turn our children into its own children. Nothing can bring the Palaic people back. They are now imperial. But it's insult to our name. To our god and to our memory. That state which destroyed our temple and fortresses should last and thrive. Okay, so he seems like a traitor. Strange to become a bodyguard, actually. I can do anything to stop it. I, too, would like to destroy the Empire.
So he can help us put it together. Good to know. Let's see, over 100, but the price is gonna dip here in the city as we sell. Um, but let's get it, I guess, above 90, still decent. We'll take it. Butter for 60, not so good. I think this will offload some. And we can see what they have cheap here. Grape is decent. We can probably sell the wine for a lot if we go south, but um, I don't know if we have a chance to go south. It's fine, we'll just take the money and go. I don't recruit anyone uh, aside from Asurai troops. Everyone else that we have in our army came from prisoners, right? We capture them from battle, basically. Uh, all sorts of bandits. And sometimes they have prisoners as well, which is why we got some. And we also escorted some caravans, which have us fighting some raiders and that sort of thing. So we have a mix. Our bulk of our force is still going to be our horse archers. Okay, we got to go that way, go farther east. And we should be at a much healthier speed yet. So now we can even fight people if we see I can't get the hotkey to work. That's super annoying. Yeah, I guess I've got to click for now. Ooh, those are both really good prices. We can't offer anything, nothing. Like, this hardwood price is so bad here. We'll just take it. And hopefully, you know, we bump into a better price as we travel east. That's kind of how we've been surviving. See, that's super cheap as well. That's decently cheap. And that's also how I'm flirting with bankruptcy. Because uh, we tend to overbuy. And as we travel, especially with a lot of horses, we become super slow. And the upkeep just eats at us. Another reason why is like trading cavalry, super expensive. You have to buy them war horses, buy them regular horses. Just look at that hardwood price, so cheap. Gotta buy that. Now, this is not the cheapest grain, six, but um, it's decently cheap. Like, occasionally you might find it for three, but uh, that's not a guarantee. Yeah, we're not gonna buy a bulk. If it's three, we'll buy the entire bulk. All right, we're almost there. Maybe we can hunt down that group of looters. Let's see what's he offering. Nine heads of cattle for, ooh, 110 per cattle. That's actually super cheap. I'll take it off your hand. See, they're selling for 243 here, but he just sold it to me for 110 each. And it's gonna fetch a good price elsewhere too, but they're also herd animals, so they're gonna slow us down as well. We bought these for 18. We could offload them here for a little bit. We're pretty far away from our carrying capacity, so it's not a necessary... I mean, we can play get it for higher somewhere else, but... Let's not be too greedy. Let's see if we can go hunt down some looters, just for fun. Gotta have some fighting here. Oh, can't fast forward. We're faster than them? Oh no, same speed. Oh, they're going the wrong way. I want to go here. Oh, oh, they slow down. Uh, we got them. We're faster in the forest. All right. Surrender and die. Show off our force a little. Aside from our companion, we also have our brother. Um, we have basically given them command of the infantry and the archers on foot. We take care of all the cavalry. But for combat, it's more of they do their thing and I go do my thing. Wait, off? Wait, were they on? Pull your sergeants. No way. Sergeants take command. Sergeants in charge. My number keys just don't work. But men. Huh. Take charge. I mean, I can do the clicking, I guess. On my command. Oh. Well, that's weird. It's the whole keyboard not working. As in, I can't even move. Uh, huh. I'm gonna 
have to probably restart the game after this battle. All right. I guess our infantry is going to get a lot of good experience here as they have charged up and we have decided to just chill. And yeah, we're getting the kills. Oh, no. Not too bad. Three guys of ours are wounded, not killed. It's a little white skull. Yeah, we're going to have to restart the game. Something's wrong with the key. We'll grab these. Yeah, and we're just going to train some infantry because we need them. And for bandits, we're going to train the bandits to get ourselves some roguery levels so that we can diversify our rank up. And infantry is always needed for um, battles like siege battles. All the armor is going to stay here for extra experience for our troops. And yeah. We're gonna come right back. Alrighty, so our buttons actually work now. There we go. Uh, I feel so much better. All right, we're still on our way to the city in the south. We did fight those looters. Captured a few, wound a few, which is actually good. Levels up our healing. Let's see, we can dump all the weaponry here for the cash. They're kind of useless and nothing else really. If we ever find a good place with high meat prices, we can slaughter all the animals. But for now... Wait, they're recommending us take this path? No, 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 we're going this way. I think the only people we have in the party are looters, so there's not really anyone to recruit. I'm not recruiting any looters, they're just there for potential mission. It's Danya. All right, let's talk to her. But before that, maybe a look at the market price here. See, we can sell the cows for a decent price. Horses are super expensive here, but not so expensive that we can sell it. A bit unfortunate. Iron War is super cheap. We should get all four of these. And yeah, not much else. Are we selling anything? That's probably decent enough. Let's see when the price dips. Okay, 10 will stop. Sell some fur. This is profitable. We bought it for 110. I don't remember when we got the hogs. But we should just... I'm just going to dump it. That way we don't have the herd. They're considered horses too, like pack animals. Gonna dump a few of these. 90 is fine. We have close to 90 men. So this is a healthy number. Hi, sorry, I don't think I know you. It's, uh, it's Dinia. You probably already know that though. Once I will great power, but now anyway, I'm most curious what you want with me. So what so, brings you to oh. me? Voiced. I believe a piece of the dragon banner of Caridios. Is that true? You may have one piece of the banner, but it's of little use in itself. You'll have to find the other parts. But once you can bring together the pieces, you'll have something of tremendous value. The banner of Calradius is part of a legend. Now that's it? They say it was carried by Caridius the Great small band of exiles into this land to make a new home for themselves. True son, yes. Of course, our glorious armies have been defeated many times, but I guess those commanders and emperors were not true sons. Clever little legend. A child could see through it if she tried, but of course people never try to see though uh, through the noble lies that binds us together. Thanks heaven for that. A buyer? Think bigger than that. Let me say that if you can find the missing pieces, I'm sure I can help you put it to good use. So where are the pieces? Before I reveal that information to you, I need to know more about your intentions. One could use the banner to restore the empire, but one could also use the banner to destroy it. Let's see, she's played the restore type. She was a spy master. And 
She has murdered for him many, many times. Right, so she's the savior. Then you can come back. So our point of contact is not going to be her. Our point of contact is going to be ours or goes because I want to destroy the empire. So there's a hideout to get the next piece. There's three pieces. Okay. So I guess that was the marking we got near this hideout right there. Guess that's going to be our next destination. We're going back. Oh, you guys made a mistake. This time we got to fight you for real. All right, this time we can give a little better command. Well, to ourselves, because I'm still going to let the troops take care of themselves. There they are. Whew. Just headshot at someone from that distance. I see what, what what was wrong with my key controls. I had the controller plugged in. That's why. Alright, there's gotta be some runaway looter somewhere. Like, we're still riding, which means there's a guy trying to run away somewhere. Even though we already won. Oh, they got him. What do we want these guys to become? I guess this is not a bad choice. Or they can stay on foot. Now, I think we still prefer cavalry over everything else. Even though it's not going to be great for certain types of battles, we can just try to avoid those battles. There we go. I think we just have to go up here. Yeah, these poor looters. We'll let them run away. It's fine. We want to go here. Unfortunately, that takes us on this path. And uh, you're on the way, so... They might surrender. I, I don't want this surrender. Ah, okay, we can do this type of surrender. That's fine too. Just take them as prisoners, which is kind of our goal, even though we don't get experience for it. We want one of these village to be like, we need manual labor and that's where we come in. Well, that's not a bad set of arrows. Oh, we asked, that's what happened. Okay, whew, I was like, how do we get that? Almost sold it. Um, I don't want to sell that. All right, what mission is that? Hmm, deserters could be fun, but um, we're going to pop into one of these hideout camps. Where is it to click? There. Okay, I was like, floating overhead, I don't see anyone. This could become tricky, because this is one of those battles that require us to bring people on foot. We could bring our brother, he's actually pretty good. I don't want to lose my cavalry here. I could take the Sea Raider Chief, which is pretty strong. Forest Bandits are pretty good. Imperial train infantrymen. We can bring two more. I want some melee, so I guess brigand. 
Sea Raider? Do we have a better choice? I can also bring him, but he's not that strong. Sea Raider Warrior. There we go. Um, I think they just follow? What's the command, guys? Okay, so let's do... Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Easy enough. Wait, which group is not following? There we go, there we go. And it's interesting that the dragon banner is just out here in the middle of nowhere. There's a guy right there. But I'm sure there's someone up here too, right? I don't want to get flanked. Oh, there's a guy right here. Chill, 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 guys. Hmm. There we go. Beautiful. Hmm, can't really see with all our guys floating head portrait. There we go. I didn't kill him. There we go. There's another patrol right there. I don't see anyone in the camp here. So far, so good. Boys, boys. Charge. Uh, I'm pretty wounded, not gonna lie. All right, well, delegate command off. Well, we lost a couple men. Hmm. This is not encouraging. Took two arrows and we're already kind of knocked. There's not that many enemies left, but there's a final showdown somewhere. Maybe we should go back to the camp area? Just feels like this is leading to nothing. Um, why don't you guys charge? people here no wow they charged to this and they just got stuck so I guess we do have to go ahead because we clear that there's no one here so oh is that a guy it's two guys it's two guys Don't shoot us yet. Shield, stand in front of me. Okay, good. These two guys are stuck. Um, oh, boss fight, good. That's fine. 3v7, I think we have seven. We're gonna refuse the duel, jump back, and uh, let our boys do it. Hack them to death. I don't fight duels. Oh, oops. But we did it. I shot him in the back. I'm so sorry.
We lost one person. A forest bandit died. One bridge wounded. It, it could have been a lot worse, and we get to pick up some new recruits. All right, not half bad. We'll take that. It's better than what we have. That's also better than what we have. Which means it's better than what they have. Yeah, sorry. You get the next one, I guess. Well, this one's better. I discard some armors just for the experience. So did we pick up a piece of the Dragon Banner? That's the question. We did. So do we go back and talk to... Oh, do we have to lie to her and be like, you know, she's going to tell us the location of the third piece? I think that might be how it goes. Right, so we have to lie to her. I see. Not really how we plan this to work, but I guess we'll do it. You know what, we'll sell some of this off. We have carrying way too many of it. We'll keep the butter to eat. I would like our income to be closer to, you know, another digit. So the game's gonna make us be a bit two-faced about this, be like, we want to destroy the Empire, but we also want to save it. Just tell us where the location of the third piece is. We might just end up bringing our best troops into battle for this one. We might lose a few of them, but we're probably going south soon, so we can probably recruit them again. Not taking any more chances. We're not healthy either, that's the other problem. Gonna take us a while to heal back up. Yes, we're gonna save it. Good. I do not know where the other pieces are. You may need to keep searching for them. When you have recovered all the pieces, return to me and I'll help you put them into use. So hideout also? Right here. Yep. Well obviously we're not gonna come back to her, but uh she doesn't need to know that. Oh, that's so cheap. But we have so many. <laughs> we just need to go south. Look at the, oh, not even go south. Like They're saying Marathon, we can sell it for 20? That's a hefty profit. Now this price will change, but as long as it's below 10, it's pretty cheap hardwood. Okay, so let's sell a few back. Okay, we can get, there we go. Last one for nine. So because we're not full health, we just gotta be a little bit more careful and rely on our troop a bit more, I guess, for this one. Although a straight arrow could just end us. But I guess it's worth the risk. Waiting for that nightfall. Yeah, I think we just take... Nigh heavy mama yeah. Even on foot, I think they're our best call, and it's also easy to command them. I don't think delegate works well here. I think we gotta do like just charge. Yeah. And we'll just hang out in the back and fire away sneakily. On. Could you guys wait a little bit? Because if I can pick out targets one by one, it's still better in the beginning. Like there's, I can headshot a couple. Uh, 
Oh, nope. Much more fall than I thought. But he's not reacting, so I can find my angles until that happens. Boys, charge. Oh, they're melee. Ah, uh, so we were dealing with um, forest bandits before. These are mountain bandits. The forest bandits are archers, so it's a bit more difficult. Nobody there. We're slower than them. Guys, wait. Fall back to me. Let me get a sneaky shot here first. They won't react until I hit my first shot, so let's try to make it a headshot on this guy with the shield. There we go. And we know he's melee, so we can take our sweet time with a headshot. Get him first. Nope. How are we? How is my archers just like not firing their arrows? I mean, I appreciate you guys. I thought Firewell is on. It is on. Oh, now it's on. My bad, guys. We could reload our arrows, but I think we're fine. 54 is more than enough. Oh, they're going for it. They got him. Yeah, this should be easy with them all shooting. Okay, this is over. Piece of cake. Two guy in the back has a shield though. Ooh. Wow, how did our archers go through the shield where I can't even do anything? But anyways, easy win. Yeah, we brought the right troops, gave them the right commands, and it became a lot easier. What do you know? Let's pick up the sword. Nice little pony. Some javelins. Oh, better footwear for our brother. Throw these away. Not better armor, though. Yep. Assemble the dragon banner update. So now we can bring it back to either one, and they will assemble it for us. Uh, running around on foot. Let's just do this. Although, ooh. We're never going to command foot troop. I don't know if this applies when we're on horseback or not. I'll, I'm going to take the health. Because I know that's going to apply regardless of horseback or not. Alright, we don't have any skill points. We're going to go back to... Our, our guy over here and assemble the banner to destroy the Empire. I think it's still the same mission. Yeah, deserters. They have a, oh, they got some of their money back. Nothing really profitable here. Let's sell those. Ooh, Sea Raiders. This way they can join us. Trivia, it's been a while. I've gathered all pieces of the Dragon Banner. What now? Excellent work. We unfurl this banner and men see it. 
what they thought was lost, it will make a powerful impression. Clearly you have been chosen by heaven for a great purpose. I see the making of a new legend here. Allow me to call you Banner Lord. Right then, to business of bringing down this cursed empire. As I see it, you have two options. You can create your own kingdom or support an existing one. So how do I create my own kingdom? It would not be easy, but I can explain in detail. Firstly, your clan must be independent. You cannot be pledged to existing realm. Check. We actually have not pledged anyone. Next, your clan must have won for itself considerable renown, or no one will follow you. I recommend you gather a fairly large army as you may be soon at war with more powerful and established realm. Finally, you need a capital for your realm. It can be any settlement you own, as long as they do not speak the imperial tongue, I will not help you create another empire. Now, when you are ready to declare your new kingdom, instruct the governor of your capital to have a proclamation read out throughout your land. So you have much to do. I will wait, await news of your success. Return to me when you wish to declare your ownership of the banner to the world. I see. Okay. So. That means... Create a non-imperial kingdom. That's going to be our goal. We need clan tier 4. Okay, we're kind of far from that. We need 100 troop at least. We need to own some sort of settlement. This is kind of the path we went last time as well. Um, it's not the easiest path because we have to sort of siege down a settlement ourselves, which could be difficult. I want to create this empire in the south, right? We want to start with the Azurai region and work our way down, uh, work our way up afterward. So that's going to be sort of our goal next time. Now to get our clan level up, Let's see, what do we need to build up our clan tier? Renown, basically. We're quite far, so probably back to quite a bit of grinding. That's our two brother and sister. We haven't created any caravans. We could probably do this, um, find some new companions. This would be a good way to make some money because um, right now I'm just struggling with upkeeping of our troops. We can also try to get some workshops in the south, but that's going to be interesting as well. I think the easiest way is probably just to maybe work on um, supporting like a different a current kingdom. That might be the easiest way to do it, but I don't think we want to go that route. I'd rather go the route of creating our own. That's going to be kind of our goal. We'll come back next time and hopefully we'll be well on our way to building a decent army. Uh, it's going to take a while, so a couple episodes just prep you know, prepping ourselves for it to build up that renown, a lot more fighting, and uh, set up a few caravans. We're going to have to find some supporter or companions uh, in the land, recruit them, run a couple caravans to support our troop number, and go from there. So hope you guys enjoyed this one, and see you all next time. Bye!